What's up everyone, it's your boy Nate and welcome to yet another reaction video. In today's video, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter in mood. I know that the last video was a little depressing so I wanted to, to pick it up a little bit for this video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to one that covers interesting facts about Germany. Um, just a little background, I have lived in Germany before. I lived there for a total of five years, uh, two separate occasions while I was in the military. My wife is German. She is from Germany. Yes, she speaks German. You wouldn't believe how many times I get asked that question. Does she speak German? No, she speaks freaking French and yeah, whatever. So anyway, um, if you haven't been to Germany, I highly recommend it. It is a gorgeous country beautiful people, lots to do, lots to see, lots to drink and eat. It's, uh, it's a really, really cool place. So I wanted to react to a video that shares interesting facts about the country. I haven't seen this yet before, so we'll see just how interesting they are. And I will share my thoughts and commentary throughout the video. So what are we waiting for? Let's jump right in. Beer festivals and sausages, old castles and the Autobahn. In this video, let's talk about Germany. Germany has a population of 81 million and it is the largest economy in Europe, the fourth largest by nominal GDP in the world. To many people around the world, the label made in Germany equals quality. Cash is king in Germany. When eating out, visiting any store or trying to pay for just about anything, don't be surprised if the response to your credit card is nine. Most Germans still settle in cash and rely on debit cards called EC or electronic cash. Roughly 80% of all transactions in Germany are conducted in cash. In the US, it's less than 50. Germans work an average of... All right, so right off the bat, uh, cash is king. Uh, I know that when I lived there, that was pretty true. Um, I know they don't use checkbooks really at all um, and credit cards just doesn't seem to be that big uh, even bank cards um, the banking system is quite a bit different um, over there so I think this may have changed a little bit since then I know some people say that more and more places are accepting credit cards or bank cards or whatever uh, but I know that when we lived over there my wife paid we paid for everything in cash and it's a little um, odd when you're paying multiple euro, but all in coins. <laughs> so you you save all your coins over there. In the U.S., we have pennies and nickels, and I think those are worthless currencies. I mean, you nobody ever rarely buys anything with pennies. I mean, I've been behind people in a gas station where they just empty all their pockets trying to buy a can of beer and it's all in pennies and nickels and dimes or whatever but for the most part you know the coins here uh, are pretty useless and over there you know you can have a, a one euro coin um, I believe maybe even a, a two two euro uh, so that's like two dollars but it's in a coin so of course you're gonna try and use those up uh, so you're not carrying a pocket full of change uh, but I do think for the most part they still use cash in a lot of places, but um, I think that's changing. 1,371 hours a year. Americans, for example, work 1,789 hours. 400 more hours Almost a year. Almost everything closes at 7 p.m., and that includes most grocery stores, drug stores, and shopping malls. And if it's Sunday, you might as well stay at home because nothing is open on Sunday. That's pretty true. You will find some places still open on Sunday, uh, but I know that a lot of places close early during the week, and I believe Thursday, it's even earlier, if I remember correctly. Sundays in Germany really are holidays, which means nothing except for small kiosks and gas stations is open. Germans are not very religious. The Gallup organization polls show that 57% think that religion does not play an important part in their lives. 
Okay, I'm. I don't know that you can say they're not very religious. The difference is they don't broadcast their religion. That's a private matter. Unlike in the U.S., it's thrown in your face every time you turn around. Uh, that's one thing my wife noticed when we moved here. Um, she wasn't like super religious over there, but she felt more so than over here. Uh, just for the simple fact that every, everybody here, you know, do you belong to this church? Do you go to that church? And if you go to that church, you're doing it wrong. You know, everybody's got their opinion over here and they let it known. While over there, it's a private matter. You don't talk about it. You don't ask somebody, hey, what church do you go to? And you definitely don't go knocking on doors trying to help people find Jesus. That doesn't happen. In Germany, you will discover the glory of the bicycle. Once you start riding a bike, you can appreciate the extreme bike friendliness of European cities. That's true. Germany is dead serious about recycling. Just so you have an yes. idea, Germany is number one in the world when it comes to recycling. When Germans look at a product's package... I might have to look that fact up because I believe I just saw somewhere recently where they aren't it might be that they are in recycling, I guess, uh, but they aren't the greenest country in the world. They're ranked like 20th or something. Uh, but as far as recycling, that might be true, but I would have to do some more research on that one. But I do know that they take this stuff very seriously. When we lived over there, um, I mean, you can see here you have the green glass, the brown glass, and the white glass. I mean, it's not just glass. You know, there's different types of glass and plastic and compost and, and trash um, and you can get fined if you are caught throwing recyclables <clears throat> excuse me into the normal trash they unconsciously think to which garbage can it has to go to is this plastic is this metal separating the garbage in Germany is something that really is part of your everyday life which country do you think has the most solar panels today the US China? Italy? No, Germany. Its renewable energy sector is among the most innovative and successful worldwide. Germany's long-term shift to cleaner energy has made its economy the world's largest to rely so markedly on renewable energy. And windmills. <clears throat> windmills are everywhere. And I know that's a, a touchy subject here in the U.S., uh, whether or not people think they're ugly or whatever. I think they're pretty cool. Um, and it's renewable energy, so there's that. Free education for everybody, including universities and including foreign students. Germany is a great place to pursue a research career. Germany has 105 Nobel Prize winners. So if you're interested in science and technology, Germany is a good destination for you. The free education. Now that is a little misleading. Um, they do pay a yearly fee, uh, basically, but it's it's not. You can't even compare it to the U.S. Um, it's like a few hundred, maybe euro. Um, might be a little bit more than that, but you're not going to go six figures in debt by going to school. After the United States, it is the second most popular migration destination in the world. Twenty percent of people with immigrant big rounds, 3 million of which Turkish, 1.5 million Polish, and 1.2 million Russian. Which is not surprising, an average salary of 45,000 euro provides a comfortable lifestyle. Bad. People here rent rather than buy. Home ownership rate is just about 43%. Why? Huh. The answer seems to be that Germans keep renting because rental housing is kind of nice and affordable depending on where you live. Public transportation is excellent. It is very practical to live in any large German city without owning a car. Very true. Most stops have an electronic timetable with exact arrival times and it's very convenient. <laughs> Might have exact arrival times, but whether or not they're on time is another story. I'm sure in some places it's more so than others, but um, even my wife's hometown, fun fact, uh, it's a population of about 500 people, and so it's a village, basically. 
uh, they do have a bus stop. And so from that bus stop, you can catch a bus over the hill into the next town, which is Launch Tool. And if you didn't know, that's where the U.S. hospital is, military hospital. And from there, you can take a train to Kaiserslautern, another another 30, 40 minutes, I believe. And then from there, it's an international station, so you can go anywhere you want in Europe. So even the smaller villages may have one bus stop. So I know my wife's mom, my mother-in-law, has never had a driver's license in her life. And coming from the U.S., that just seems impossible because where we live now, there is no public transportation. Um, yeah, I could catch an Uber or a Lyft, but I'm going to be paying $50, $60 just to get to the next biggest town. And that's just unreasonable. So the public transportation over there is amazing. German taxis are cream colored with a black and yellow taxi sign on the roof. In the birthplace of the luxury sedan, it should be no Mercedes. surprise that the bulk of the taxi fleet is comprised of sleek and plush Mercedes and Audis. BMW. When it comes to style and clothing, Germans tend to dress in a conservative manner. That's true. And you won't see too many baseball caps. It's one of the telltale signs of an American. Now, I know this gentleman right here in the middle is wearing a baseball cap, but for the most part, Americans wear baseball caps. Germans are a little socially reserved. Small talk yes. isn't really done much in Germany. No, it's not. Smiling too tends to be met with a puzzled and suspicious look rather than a reciprocated smile back. Germans don't smile unless there is a clear reason to. Don't be surprised if your waiter did not smile at you. But you can't really say they're not friendly because if you ask Germans for friendly. something, they'll be glad to help you. Very friendly. The Autobahn is the pinnacle of the German driving experience. Perhaps the ultimate in driving altogether. Virtually all of the World Series drivers have heard of it and wanted to take their shot at conquering it. German cars are known for their precise engineering. Okay, so another misconception here is that the Autobahn doesn't have any speed limits. That is absolutely unequivocally false. I know because I got a speeding ticket on the Autobahn. And I've had arguments with people here in the U.S., about the Autobahn. They're like, I don't have any speed, speed limits. I've been there. Uh, yeah, a lot of places they don't have a speed limit. Um, there's a recommended speed in many places. There are speed limits in others, uh, depending on where you are. Uh, but the Autobahn is actually German for interstate. So it's not one stretch of road with no speed limit. So you can go as fast as you want. That's their entire interstate system, and it has speed limits in many, many places. The Autobahn completes the driving equation. More than 50% of the Autobahn has no speed limit. You heard it right, no speed limit. The automotive industry in Germany is regarded as one of the most competitive and innovative in the world, and it is the fourth largest by production. Did you know that Volkswagen Group sells passenger cars on the Audi, Bentley, Bugatti, Lamborghini, Porsche, and many other brands. And BMW That's produces nice mini cars and serves as the parent company of Rolls Royce motor cars. A lot of people think about beer when they think about Germany. And they're right, of course. In total, there are approximately 1,300 breweries in Germany producing over 5,000 brands of beer. There are lots of rules in Germany, but you can drink beer anywhere. And in Bavaria, it is okay to have a glass of beer during lunch break but of course it will depend on the company you're working for. Every German eats an average of 50. The beer is outstanding and um, they don't mess around. I'm not an IPA fan, um, so I don't miss any of those. And I feel like IPAs tend to get a little s silly with their flavors. You don't put fruit in beer. You don't put uh, strawberry beer, peach beer, watermelon beer um, and there are laws about how beer is brewed in Germany I forget the name because it's a little difficult to pronounce um, but it's it's required that you follow that now you can add two I believe but it's got to have a minimum of, of those ingredients so 
But who needs strawberries and beer when you can have a nice Hefeweizen? 53 kilograms of bread per year. No wonder. Since there is such a big selection to choose from, Germany is the nation with the biggest variety of bread in the world. That's true. Sausages are outstanding. Yes, Rat they wurst, are. Karibwurst, label Kiese are all very tasty. Germany is so into sausage meat that it has some types of sausage you might not be able to handle. Blutwurst, anyone? That's blood sausage, blood sausage. and it's genuinely made from congealed animal blood. Soccer in Germany. Like in most European countries, Fußball. the number one attended and practiced sport. If you're thinking about going to a sauna in Germany, you might want to know that it is common for both women and men to be naked in front of each other. Yes, this is how it works here. Germans love rules, organization and structure. They have an abundance of laws regulating all aspects of life. For example, no they loud like music rules. or noise after 10 p.m. or they will call the cops. Living in Germany... And I don't think that's a bad thing. Uh, I enjoy quiet hours, especially the older I get. Um, and I know on Sundays you're not allowed to do any yard work or do anything crazy, making a lot of noise outside. That's the, the quiet day. Um, you know, so you take it easy on Sundays. People really, um, that's the, the day they go for walks, um, you know, through the forest or or around town so they, they really value their their quiet time. Germany is a traveler's dream. Being right in the middle of Europe provides you with the opportunity to travel almost anywhere in Europe in the blink of an eye. Austria, Switzerland, Poland, France and many more great destinations. Germans love any excuse to throw a party. <laughs> Wine harvesting season started? Wine festivals. Anniversary of a castle being refurbished? Renaming of a street? There's a festival for everything under the sun here. And they're The fun. biggest, of course, is Oktoberfest, one giant celebration of beer. Germans are really active. The amount of activities, especially during spring and summertime, is definitely a huge plus. There are carnivals, museum nights, fun fairs, festivals, outdoor cinemas, and so much more. For every weekend, you can find something to do. Sometimes customer service in Germany gets a pretty bad rap. <laughs> the check doesn't come in restaurants unless you specifically ask for it. It may. T it's because they aren't in a hurry to get rid of everybody. I believe um, that might not be true, but it feels like it. You know, here in the U.S., you go to a restaurant and they're they're pushing you out basically, uh, so they can get somebody into that next table. Um, but here, it's it's a little more laid back take a lot of time for the waiter to notice you and some store clerks act as if they don't care they don't get their own impression they're just doing it a different way they're just trying to be professional yep. public nudity when I'm saying public nudity I'm talking about the people who get naked in the public parks and sunbathe you might stumble across a naked man or woman laying on the back and embracing the Sun and no they're not some hot girls that you might imagine in the middle of the park where kids are playing football, teenagers are secretly smoking, and adults are running and walking their dogs, how is this kind of environment makes you want to get naked in the first place? <laughs> and this brings us to the end of my story about Germany. And if you know more facts about Germany, please share them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned and bye. Alright, so there are some fun facts about Germany. Uh, let me know in the comments how many of those you knew about and which ones that you may not have heard about. Uh, most of those seem to be pretty true, although some of them just kind of skimmed the surface and didn't explain fully, you know, about what was going on, like the, the public nudity thing. You're not going to walk around any park in Germany and find naked people. It's just not going to happen. Um, they do have uh, specific beaches that are, are nude or naturalist um, beaches. Uh, but the thing is, it's more older generations, so it's not like the movies. But overall, I think, uh, I think this was pretty good. Um, some interesting facts about Germany. So thank you for watching. Again, if you have any comments or want to add to this list or maybe some you didn't know or want to elaborate on, just go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. And if you enjoy this type of video and you want me to do more of, of this type, um, just 
subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification bell. Uh, you know all the things. So uh, until the next video, we'll see you later. Bye.